Hello everybody, welcome back to Domtastic XL, welcome back XL Gang, and as y'all can see by the title, y'all already know what I'm talking about, um, I know it's been a long, 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 long time, sorry y'all, I had to pause there real quick, don't mind my hair, you know, I need a retwist, but, yeah, let's prop this camera a different way, and then the window is open too, y'all, so, um, but as y'all see by the title, I'm going to try to make this video not too long. Hopefully my camera don't die either. Because if so, then it's going to be a part two. But yeah, guys, I'm in my, I'm sorry, people getting out, kids getting out of school. I'm in my daughter's room. And um, yeah, y'all, I didn't really give y'all a tour around the room either. How about we do that too? Because um, it's a little junky because like I said, I'm going through it. But just to give y'all a little kind of tour around the room she got her plants that's her plant her daddy got her curtains it's not too 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 much too fancy or nothing but then you got her name vivian if y'all want to um you know a video on why i did i did do a video but i didn't like how it came out and just wasn't like i said i'm going through things just watch that because she just got those things for halloween and stuff like that i'm already Oh, her crib, her little changing area, but it's also like her storage area, but here yeah, you guys, so I'm just going through and camera not even, I'm just going through and organizing and stuff like that, um, she is, she will be three months on Friday, y'all, Friday the 18th, she'll be three months, the time already flew, um, I think, I, yeah, I did a labor and delivery, it wasn't really a a recording of labor delivery or nothing but i did talk about it it's a few pictures and stuff on the cover or whatever but um i didn't i didn't get a chance to record y'all as far as in my labor and delivery of course um i was induced i was induced at 37 uh weeks in like four or five days yeah four days or something like that i was very close but i had her at 38 weeks so i was in labor for three and a half days i believe i talked about that in my labor and delivery if y'all didn't see it go watch but just a little quick room tour, nothing major. Um, she got a lot of her diaper boxes around. Um, she got newborn diapers and stuff over there um, that I didn't get a chance to use and stuff like that. I want to give them to somebody that, you know, might need them. I don't know if anybody, and I got newborn clothes and stuff. So if anybody is, is in need out there, um, not no funny or nothing like that, um, I do have Instagram. I'll leave that in the link below or just reach out and stuff like this video, share it. Um, but I don't mind, um, donating that stuff, of course, for free. And, um, she got clothes, so if y'all having a baby girl and stuff like that, just, this stuff is all just washed. And, um, you know, it's clean. It's, some of this stuff, um, she hadn't even wore yet. Like, you could tell she hadn't even wore. Like, we just had so much stuff for her newborn, because she was born 5 pounds, 11 ounces. So, she was very, very tiny when she was born. And she grew real quick. Now, she almost 12 pounds she chunky so um yeah so a lot of this stuff i'm just going through and getting rid of um, all these clothes i got them in one of her diaper boxes right now but all these just a bunch of clothes just that she just like i said never wore this tutu she never wore it i wanted her to wear it so bad never wore it. that's a lot of newborn it's some creamy stuff in there because like i said she was tiny so I was able to, you know, she was able to fit some of that clothes. And, and then I'm going through her diaper bag and just organize. I got to wash this bottle out. And just, I had to go in and take all the stuff out that was too small for her and put more stuff in. I'm sorry about the noise in the background, y'all. But, yeah, it's kind of emotional. Um, she kind of getting through the crying phase and she's starting to smile and laugh more. and Starting to get, you know, she's sitting up, trying to hold her own bottle, trying to stand. And, um, just making me feel like she growing up on me. Um, I'm having baby fever again, making me have baby fever again. But the realistic thing, and then I got, hey, I got an a, a birth control implant in my arm, so I doubt it. I can just say this. But, um, the realistic thing is, you know, she's enough right now. She's enough. She's our miracle special baby that we didn't even think we was going to have. Here it is, 11 almost 12 years later me and my husband been married and yeah oh, don't mind my nails too they need to be done over so bad but um these was for mother's day um i 
did them before Mother's Day, so I had them on for almost two weeks now. But today's Tuesday, the fourteenth. Yeah. Um. But yeah, she got like I had just got her these shoes, and they too big. She got um. You know, just I just took her three month pictures. I took them early in advance, so. But yeah, you guys, I'm just kind of like sad, like just, geez, you know, she really grown up fast, like this newborn. Some of the stuff she could still fit, like, you know, it's stretchy, but it's like a lot of newborn stuff that I got to get rid, you know, get rid of. And it's just, she was just tiny. She was just in my stomach. She was just like, wow, am I the only one who feel like, because I didn't think, you know, I'm kind of, they like to say I'm kind of mean, you know, like. My mom and them always joking, she's so mean, she's so mean. So, at first, I'm like, oh, no, you know, that stuff ain't going to bother me. None of that stuff bothering me. Like, you know, when she be crying, I'm like, cut it out, girl. Cut it out with that crying. You know, just joking with her, but I'll be serious. Like, just cut it out. But she's softening me up some, and I'm just like, gosh, you know, the minute she'll be walking and talking and sleeping in her own crib. Because right now she's sleeping the bassinet in our room. But I'm like, gosh, I mean, you know, when they really be saying that, as far as their motherly duties, they really mean that. Like, that time go fast. And it's just like, oh, man. It make you think of your own time and how you just want to be there for them and just, just do your best. Make you want to grow up and everything. So, but yeah, you guys, um, that's what I'm doing. Um, Happy belated Mother's Day. This is my first Mother's Day, but... Any mothers out there, you know, or new mothers or whatever, happy Mother's Day. Happy belated Mother's Day, rather. I hope you enjoyed it. But, yeah, you guys, um, let me know if y'all want any other videos down in the comment section below. Just wanted to share that little video. I'm like, I'm going through stuff and I'm thinking. And, you know, I haven't really shared any videos since the labor and delivery. Um, I've been in, of course, mommy mode, like everybody say. I've, I've been in mommy mode. I did return back to work to... Um, that's not as hectic as I thought it was going to be. I work part-time, so I just work my part-time hours. And, you know, as far as getting her on a sleeping schedule, that was crazy at first. That was about the craziest thing, just going from sleeping how you want to to, you know, you, know, you get sleep whenever you can. And you sometimes it'd be after days at a time because she was kind of a fussy baby at first. And she still get fussy, but she growing out of that. And it's just making me feel like so... She's getting independent. She's growing up on us. Uh, but yeah, you guys, um, I just wanted to share that little video. Um, Jay, for Mother's Day, he just treated me so sweet, you know, got me some sneakers and stuff like that. We took Mother's Day pictures and stuff with the baby out at the beach. We took that in advance. Got some flowers here and stuff. Um, I leave them in their room because y'all know we have a cat. So I leave them in her room with her plant that he got for her. And, uh, he cooked for me, so it just I just felt so sweet and stuff like that. Just felt so special. Um, I got to eat sushi for my, you know, when I after I had her and stuff like that. I just felt grateful. She got both her parents and stuff like that. Very blessed. And um, I just wanted to share this video with you guys. Um, like I said, keep it short and sweet, you know, simple and stuff like that. If y'all want any other videos and stuff like that, um, I'm back on. Um, Back on my Instagram page, uh, as far as on my nails, at least I'm back posting on there. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'll leave the links of my Instagram stuff in the description below. Um, yeah, you guys, if you guys have any questions, any more questions about my labor and delivery, or just you know how motherhood is going for me, or any ideas that you, or videos y'all want to see, or something like that, um, just drop them down below in the comment section. But um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.